Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial and today it's going to be a holiday makeup tutorial that is based off of wearing my glasses. Um, I decided to do this tutorial because I left my contacts at home over break and now I'll be wearing my glasses. So making a bad situation into a good one, I'm going to show you how to get the best results of wearing glam makeup while wearing your glasses. So the first thing you're going to need to do is arch your eyebrows. And you might want to clean them up. Mine are kind of bushy so I just dealt them in wherever I pleased. Um, right here I'm prepping my face with Hard Candy Primer. And it's just going to be the base for my foundation that I'm going to put on later on. I'm just going to buff this into my skin really, really good because this is a silicone based um, primer. So now I'm taking this Instant Age Rewind foundation and I'm going to be just putting that on the places where I feel like I need the most coverage. I'm going to be buffing that out with an e.l.f. blending kabuki brush. I have to put my glasses on when I do my foundation because I'm blind as a bat and I can't see anything. So now I'm just going to prime my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion and it's just the original one. I'm taking this CoverGirl quad. I'm going to take the very shimmery gold. And basically what I'm going to be doing here is just mapping out where I want my shadow to be. So first I'm just going to place the most color focusing on the lid. I'm going to slightly bring it up because I want to mimic having bigger eyes by having a bigger lid. So I'm putting on my glasses, seeing if I like the shape. And then if I don't like it, I take my glasses off and then I'll reshape my eyeballs. So you just want to continue that until you like the shape of your eyelid that you're putting on with the gold. And then after that, I'm going to take my L'Oreal True Match Powder. Basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this as a transition color. So I'm placing that right above the gold shadow that I just placed. And what this is going to do for me is it's going to give me an illusion of a higher crease. And I like doing this because it makes me feel like I have a higher arch than what I normally have. Well anyways, I took that darkest brown color from the other quad and I placed that right over the transition color I just put down. And then I'm going to take this charcoal color from another color girl quad. I have a lot of quads here. And I'm going to just barely put that on the outer corner. And I mean very, very little. Like, minimal. I'm going to take this NYX Trio, and you can use whatever highlight you want. I'm just going to take this rose gold color, it's really pretty. I'm just going to put that on my brow bone. Next I'm going to take my Hard Candy Walk the Line Eyeliner. And for me, um, making a small wing is better than making a big wing just because I have a different eye shape and I have different glasses. Um, my glasses are quite square so making a lower wing is best for me. As you can see here, you can see it perfectly through my glasses and it also gives my eyes a lift. For a little bit more lift, I'm going to be using, I think this is the big, I'm not sure what mascara this is. I can't really read the bottle right now. It's the one that comes with the two for your top lash and your bottom lashes and I love, love, love putting mascara on my bottom lashes. I am obsessed. Now I save this for last for purpose. I like to put a white eyeshadow in the inner corner of my eyes after I do my eyeliner and mascara because doing this it kind of covers up the inner corner lashes and it makes my eyes look a little bit bigger. Thumbs up if you do this with your EOS ball. One of my friends said that it was weird. So now I'm going to take this All May Lip Liqueur. And it's in this really pretty raspberry red color. 
Um, you can make it as sheer as you want, as dark as you want. But right now, I'm just going to wear it pretty, pretty sheer. Now, I'm going to take some of that product and put it on my cheeks, my nose, my chin, and my forehead. I'm just going to dab it in a little bit to give me that rosy, I just came out of the winter cold, a little flush. Next, I'm going to take my CoverGirl bronzer and I'm just going to contour a little bit just to structure out my face a bit and make sure you take your glasses off when you do that because it's not cute. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys all enjoyed. This look is very classic and I really, really like it. And basically, just keep on trying the first shadow on while you take your glasses off. Thumbs up if you want to see a nail tutorial on these winter inspired nails. Right now they're a little bit more festive, but I can make them just winter nails for you guys. So let me know if you're interested and I will get that video up. Okay, so that's all for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I will on the holiday. I hope that helps some of you guys with the technique on putting on your makeup with your glasses. Not really rocket science. You just have to do a couple of steps in between to get what you want. And I really, really like the look because I think that it's so festive for the holiday season, especially with the red lip. You can't go wrong with the red lip. It's everywhere. Like, um, and you don't have to wear this on a holiday or during Christmas or whatever. You can wear this on a date night out or with your girlfriends, going to a concert. Um, I know I wear this look a lot, a lot, a lot. Not necessarily the colors, colors with the same technique when I'm doing presentations for school because it makes me feel more professional. I hope you guys are all having a good Christmas. God, the final is over. I hope that you guys are having a relaxing holiday just like I am. Make sure that you rate, subscribe, and comment. Give me a thumbs up if you did like it. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!